In today's video, I'm showing you the easiest way to add text behind a person, which is great for your YouTube introductions or for creating cinematic movies right on your phone. Hi, I'm Seb, and in this CapCut series, I'm showing you how to use the free CapCut app to grow your audience and your brand on YouTube. I want this tutorial to be really actionable, so I put the original videos in the description so you can download it and follow every step of the way with me. If you like this concept, if you like the extra effort I did, let me know by subscribing to this channel and adding a thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by adding the text behind the surfer. So therefore, I just create a new project and import the video that you just downloaded from the comments. Now, this step is going to be very fast. We're just going to add some text on our video. Therefore, I go to add text. I write my text here. In this case, I want to write CapCut. And then I pick the font. So the font I like to use is called Bebas here. It's just a font that has been around for a very long time. I remember when I was a kid, it was already there. So I always like to use elements that stood the test of time. Then I go to style. And here, what I want to do is to add some spacing between the letters to make it look more cinematic. So I go here, down here to character and I add some spacing between the letters. Once I'm satisfied, I just make sure that the text lasts my entire video by dragging it here. And then now I also want to add an animation to this text. So I go to animation and the animation I prefer is the one called squeeze here at the bottom right. Great. So now I have a text, I have an animation and I'm going to export this video so that we can use this as a base for the future steps. Let's export it. Great. And once it's exported, I create a new project. And as a base layer, I'm going to use my new exported video. So let's import that. Great. And as you can see, I have the newly created video with the CapCut text. And now as an overlay, I'm going to add my original video. I make it fit the screen. And now what I'm going to do is in this original video, I'm going to remove the background so that we only keep the person inside the frame. So therefore I go to cutout. I go to remove background. As you can see now, it's loading, it's removing the background. And now my video is ready. For this second example, I'm on the desktop version of CapCut and this will give us even more precise results. So I imported my original file of the yoga girl. You can find it in the description. I'm adding it to my timeline. And then I'm going to add some text. Here again, I'm writing CapCut, putting it in the center. Then I choose the same font called Bebas New. Again, I'm going to change the spacing between the characters to make it look more cinematic. Once I have a result that I like, like this, I can add some animation to the text. We're going to use the same animation called Squeeze. Okay. And then we're going to drag our text to last the entire video. Great. And now I'm going to export that base file. So now we have the base file exported, which is the original video with some text on it. So in the same project, I can just delete my entire timeline. I go back to media. I import the new file I just created. Then I add this file to my timeline. So this becomes my new base layer. As you can see, I have it here with the text. And now I'm going to add the original video without the text on top of that. And for this original video, I'm going to cut out the background. I go here to cut out, auto cut out, it's processing. It's a bit slower than on the iPad, I'm not sure why, but afterwards the results is more precise. And now, as you can see, the background has been cut out and we have our person appearing in front of the text. The reason why I used the desktop version for this one is because the mobile version is not precise enough. So with the complex yoga poses she's making, I didn't like the results on iPad. So it will depend on a case by case scenario, whether the mobile app is good enough or if you need to use the desktop version. I'm quite happy with the result. Now let's export the video and I will show you the results of both videos, but made on the desktop version.